What was it to get a to get a win to start conference play this Saturday? It was huge, man. I think I think it was just huge. It was, it was the next step we came off of being in the kind of, I guess you could say, like losers, losers column. So getting that win to kind of put us back in that, that win column, kind of get the juices flowing again, kind of feeling how it feels to win again. Um, just kind of got everybody re-motivated and just ready to go one and know this week. Y'all really had kind of an explosion that second, third quarter. Yeah, how good was that? And how do you, I don't know, continue that as an offense into the fourth quarter? Uh, I just think we just got to just continue to just stay at it, man. Um, every every football game is going to hit adversity. Um, it happens every time. Um, so just knowing that we can make the big plays, um, when the opportunity comes, knowing that as a receiver group, as a running back group, quarterbacks, O-line, we can stand in there and make those big plays. So I think we just got to just keep pushing forward and kind of just use those big moments and kind of just continue to stack them and kind of build on them. The word on you coming in was you were a top part of the route tree only kind of guy. You've really evolved your game. How did you work on that this offseason to become more of a well-rounded receiver? Um, how I worked at it, I just kind of just went out there on the field, man, and just kind of just grinded all summer, all offseason, kind of put an emphasis on that. Um, obviously, I can still run um, the nine ball, the post ball, all that stuff, but kind of just putting an emphasis on um, being able to get on my breaks and really working with Coach Rob. He helped me a lot. Um, really getting my fundamental sound to be able to run every route in the route tree. You know, there's so many intricacies in this offense with route running. Like, yeah. you know, even if you run a dummy route or something, mm -hmm. are y'all still figuring that out too, like at times you know, um, as receivers? Well, I mean, kind of just as offense is, like every week you're kind of game planning against the opponent. So it's just like every week we got new stuff going in, old stuff coming out, vice versa. So um, it's always it's always a work in progress every week to kind of uh, iron out the details and making sure everything is sound so that we can go out there on Saturdays and execute at the highest level that we can possibly do it at. We're almost halfway through this season. Can you just kind of explain for someone who's not in the locker room every day, media, fans, how tough it is with a bunch of new pieces coming together to kind of gel and, you know, mesh over a season? Um, to be honest, for us, I feel like all the gelling and meshing is kind of over with because um, we – We've been here since, Coach Baker's been here since January. We kind of brought in all of our guys in January. So we kind of know um, the team now. So we kind of, um, from the summer, from the spring, we kind of all gelled and meshed and uh, really got to know one another through those times. So now when we go out there together, it's so much easier just to play with each other. So I wouldn't say it's really a, a difficult thing anymore when it's in the middle of the season. Um, but gelling in the beginning of the season is definitely, we kind of put emphasis on that, so. What do you see on film from Charlotte? Um, the DBs are super, super handsy. Um, they're a super, super disciplined and good football team. They just came off a big conference win, um, went to go against Rice. Um, so they're not, and we're going, going there. So it's not going to be no slack game. We still got to come in there, um, and be ready to, to whoop anybody. We don't want to take any game lightly because they're just as a good of an opponent as anybody else we played or are going to play this season. So. You know, with you and these deep balls and really the whole receivers, like y'all are y'all are winning off the line a lot. And it's yeah. like a Jake at times is under throwing y'all. Is that like a timing thing? Y'all are still just kinda of working through Um yeah, we kinda of just working through a little bit of stuff. Um, but we all trust in Jake um to be able to get us the ball and regardless, um receivers at the next level in the NFL are making the plays regardless of where the ball is at. So regardless if Jake has time to throw the ball, doesn't have time to throw the ball, it's a good ball, not a good ball. We still got to go out there and make Jake look good regardless because that's our QB and we got to stand by that all season. So it don't really matter to us in the receiver room. We got to go make the play regardless if the ball is short or shoot overthrown. So. And y'all, your long catch, so you just checked into the game, right? And then you uh, the yeah, yeah, they had subbed me and just trying to get fresh legs so in the game and stuff like that. Have you ever been a part of that where you just sub in and immediately hit a big touchdown catch? I've, ne I've never done Actually, maybe at NC State, yeah. maybe I did something like that. I don't really remember. But I'm, I wasn't surprised when we did that. We've been kind of preaching that like all off season. Like that's kind of how our offense is, man. Just fast tempo, just fresh legs, ready for somebody to just run by somebody. So that's kind of what we've been practicing, and we put it to put it to use in the game and seeing the results. So great T-shirts, I knew one. Nah, I've had this <laughs> since uh, since fall camp, man. Get that bread. I've been wearing this every day. Since fall camp, Coach Houston actually got me a, a tight fitted one because they were clowning me because I was wearing it because I looked like a bum out there. So they got me a tight fitted <laughs> one that says, Get that bread on it too. So yeah, I'll be wearing this every game day, every practice day. Looks good, man. It's working. <laughs>